So with the 3DS coming to a close, I know some of you are probably like, let it die already, but I'm like, no. It, it has too much power. Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what 3DS and DS games I would love to see on the Switch, because the 3DS has a very untapped potential, and I feel like we could get a lot of great games if Nintendo ports them over. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Now, 3DS games going to the Switch is not a new thing at all. We've seen Miitopia get ported to the Switch. We've seen The World Ends With You. So it's not a new concept to have 3DS games. Also, a few ground rules. I'm not picking the games that are very heavily entwined with the dual screen. So sorry, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Unless they overhaul that game, it's very dependent on the touchscreen to move around. So the games that I'm putting here can easily be ported without it feeling, you know, like a 3DS game on the Switch. Now the first game on my list is a DS game and that is Super Princess Peach. I love Super Princess Peach. It's like that untapped potential that Peach had that one game and I feel like Nintendo Please bring it back. I would love to see another Super Princess Peach on the Switch and maybe even a sequel. That would be awesome. I grew up on that game and it was just so amazing. Yeah, the different emotions were kind of extra, but I felt like, you know, Peach was actually doing something <laughs> and actually saving Mario. And I thought that was a fresh idea and not gonna lie, girl power, let's go. And I just loved the whole concept. I enjoyed it very, very much. Especially seeing Peach be the main heroine of her own story. Now on to the next game and that is Bravely Default. I love this game so much, I put it on my top JRPG list. And it's a very beloved JRPG at that. And with Bravely Default 2 on the Switch, I feel like this is just perfect to be on the Switch. They could even make it where it has the Bravely Default 2 graphics which would be amazing. Though the story has nothing to do with Bravely Default 2, it would be awesome to kind of play the first game that started it all. And I feel a lot of people will enjoy this very, very much. And I feel like this game could easily just move to the Switch since the two screens don't really play that much of a role. So I feel like this game is primed and perfect for the Switch. Now there is a sequel to this one called Bravely Second End Layer which I do hope they put it too, but it might get confusing, so I don't really know. But the first one is still very, very good, and I don't want to see it die with the 3DS. And the next games, I'm sure you've heard me gush about them all the time. They don't get the respect they deserve, and that is the Mario and Luigi series. Y'all knew this was gonna be here. Now, I put them all because literally they could pick from anyone. Though my favorite is Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. That one's for the DS. But I would love to see the other games just as well because these games are just awesome. And I would love for more people to enjoy them. And they're easy to port. Well, that being except Dream Team because you have to use the screen to kind of like move Luigi. But that could easily be circumvented by something they could do. And plus with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, this game originally did not have a dual screen because it came out for the GBA. So I feel like they can make this game at least work great on the Switch. Though I really want Partners in Time. Please, Partners in Time. They all forgot them. We got a remake for this one. We got a remake for this one. And guess what's in the middle? Partners in Time. Where is it? I don't know. It's lost in time. I, I got so mad. When they went to Bowser's Inside Story, I was like, you're, you're missing something. Where is it? Now, I do have partners in time for the DS, but still, why? And my last thing is, with these games, they could get really, really popular if ported to the Switch. Like I said, the Switch treatment is not only for graphics. The Switch is selling really good, so that means a lot of new people will pick it up or give it a try. So Nintendo, please, don't leave these games in obscurity. They deserve better. Hashtag, bring back partners in time. Coming in at number four, we have Fantasy Life. Now I have Fantasy Life digitally on my 2DS instead of physically because they're very expensive to get your hands on them, which is very, very annoying because I had it sitting on my Amazon cart because I was thinking about it and then the 3DS kind of died and when I went back, they were gone. All of them gone. And when I saw them again, 
they were 10 times the price they were. I was pissed. Anyways, um, now I haven't played the game that much and beaten it yet, but I love it so much. It kind of gives me that Miitopia kind of vibe. And that goes back to if Miitopia got a Switch port, why can't Fantasy Life? And I know a lot of people love Fantasy Life, so Fantasy Life will be an awesome inclusion to the Switch. So yeah, do it Nintendo, do it. Alright, now on to the honorable mentions. So these are picks from my Discord community, which I appreciate. Thank you guys. So our first pick comes from Jugs, and he said, Rhythm Haven or Mario Mansion 1 and 2. Now, I have no idea what Rhythm Haven is like, but from what I've seen, it seems like a WarioWare type game, which will be awesome for the Switch. So Envy Dub had a good one. He said, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. That would be awesome. That was actually in my list as well. And as a person who played the game too, I 100% agree with MV Dub on that one. Hey guys, it's Editing Mandy and I forgot to put someone in here and that is Kendo. Now Kendo wants Monster Hunter Generations on the Switch, but it kind of already is on the Switch because we have Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the Switch. So I guess you could say it's already there. So my number one pick is Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem uh, Shadows of Valencia, Fire Emblem Fates. I love these games and they will do awesome on the Switch, especially Awakening. It did so much for the Fire Emblem franchise that I'm surprised they haven't ported it to the Switch already. So Fire Emblem Awakening revitalized the whole series so we wouldn't have three houses, three hopes, any of these guys if it wasn't for this game. So I would really love to see a port of this on the Switch. It would be awesome if you get the Switch treatment, update the whole uh, character models, make them have feet. It would be awesome to see these games with a fresh coat of paint on the Switch. Now these games haven't aged badly by all means, but just having it on the Switch, it would be so awesome. Now it won't take much to put these on the Switch, and that is because we already have a Fire Emblem on the Switch, and that is Three Houses. So they could take that layout and put it on the Switch very easily with the new fresh coat of paint too. That would be awesome. I love this series and would love to replay Awakening on the Switch and Fire Emblem Shadows of Valencia and Fire Emblem Fates. Now Fates is my least favorite but it will still be awesome to play it. So the 3DS has a very big library of different games with untapped potential like the games i mentioned are just the tip of the iceberg and i feel like they could do what they did with the wii u though the wii u had less games and start porting them over to the switch i don't know how maybe remix remasters definitive edition dante included funky kong mode so that is the end of my video if you guys have 3ds games that you would love to see for the switch Please leave them down in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you like my content and would love to see more, then please hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that bell notification so you get notified when my videos and live streams drop. You could catch me on my Twitter at Plays. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. And as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.